Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chua. So I got the Jeffree Star Summer Collection. I just got the Thirsty Palette and of course the all eight, all, all eight of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I wasn't able to get the lip scrubs. Yeah, can't afford all of it. I really wanted the entire collection, but it's just so much money and I'm always broke every freaking month trying to buy every single thing he comes out with, so... <laughs> Anyway, so I, of course I got the Thirsty palette and the packaging is so cute and just like the, the packaging on the Lavolo Le Liquid Lipsticks, it has the um, water droplets on here like it's melting, which is super cute, like all his packaging for each collection. It's just awesome, like, I just like all his packaging. My favorite one has to be the Christmas one from last year with the pink glitter one and then the... Valentine's one, the red chrome, that one was really pretty, so I have the palette right here. And just like the blood sugar palette, the hands are just like the same size. And I'm excited to play with these colors, especially this yellow. I've been having trouble finding the perfect yellow, so I'm hoping this is the perfect yellow. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know what kind of eye look I'm going to be creating with this palette, so we're just going to kind of wing it like every video I do with each palette I do so yeah if that makes sense that didn't make sense i was just trying <laughs> anyways i really like these metallic colors right here i'm excited to try to play with these of course i'm not going to swatch the whole palette there's millions of videos of the swatches of these palettes and of course you could just watch jeffrey's video which i'll put that in the link in the description box down below ignore my playstation i left that on <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna try to use a lot of colors on my eyes and see how which works and stuff. Which I need to prime my eyes and reprime them because it's starting to crease because I did this intro too many times. I'm gonna go play with this and see what I'm gonna create. And of course, I'm gonna swatch these all eight of these right after I create my eye look because I really don't know what kind of lip I'm gonna be wearing. So we're gonna figure that out after swatching all of these. I got all eight, and it's Core Fixation, Yummy, Thirst Trap, Huntington Beach, Soft Serve, Cherry Wet, 818, and Fudge Pop. And I'm really excited for Cherry Wet and Fudge Pop. Those are really pretty. And Thirst Trap was super pretty when I watched the video. I'm excited to play with these liquid lipsticks, which I love his liquid lipsticks. I have every single liquid lipstick that he came out with because I can't miss any of the colors. I had to have them all. And I just dropped some. Oops. So, yeah. If you want to keep on watching and see what I create with this, this palette, just keep on watching. And, yeah. Let's just get on with the video. I'm going to use Parch and use that as, like, sort of the transition color on my crease. So, I'm just applying that with my Mally Fluffy brush. With the same brush, I'm be dipping it into Quench. I really like how this yellow is blending. It's not patchy at all. It's not too bright like it's showing on the palette. It's just probably because of the color I put before it. But this pretty yellow is actually pretty. It's a pretty transition color for any color, uh, color eye look. Well, yeah, like a sunset eye look. Any colorful eye look you want to go for. Pretty, pretty transition color. I really like how this is going. This is really pretty. And this yellow is pretty pigmented. It's not too bright, which I like. But it's enough pigment where you can actually still see the yellow. I really 
like how this yellow is blending. It's not patchy at all. It's not too bright like it's showing on the palette. It's just probably because of the color I put before it. But this pretty yellow is actually pretty. And this yellow is pretty pigmented. It's not too bright, which I like. But it's enough pigment where you can actually still see the yellow. Be dipping into am I I don't know if I'm saying this right, kumquat. So I'm just gonna dip into that color and then put that right underneath quench. So pretty. And it's blending in so nicely. And it's like barely there's actually no fallout. Holy shit, there's no fallout. But they feel so creamy. And they blend in so fucking nice. So I'm just dipping into Quench and kind of bringing it closer to my brow bone and blending in that Kumquat color. Dude, that is so pretty together. That's so fucking pretty, dude. These two colors together, oh my god. So the next color I'm going to be using is Stroke right next to Kumquat. And I'm also going to apply that right underneath Kumquat. Just to deepen up that crease a bit more. Dude, his formula in this palette, I have to say, is really, really fucking awesome. Like, the colors are blending in so fucking nice. So far, all the three colors I've used are so nice and definitely no fallout at all whatsoever. So, we're gonna be doing the metallic colors. So, I'm not forgetting about those colors. But I'm really liking how my eye look is going so far. It's really pretty. The colors blend in so fucking nice. The last color I'll be dipping into the crease area is Drizzle. I'm kind of just tapping the edges right here to make it more blended and not too harsh on the edge right there because I don't like it too harsh right there. Now that I'm done with the crease area, I'm going to be going into the lid area and trying to figure out what color I'm be using. So with this combination that I used on my crease, um, I think I'm going towards plunge maybe or filthy rich or s let's go snatched <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply that right on top it don't work dry so I guess I'm gonna cut the crease with so primer and see if that will go on top of primer instead of on top of eyeshadow we're gonna try that so now that I apply the concealer well yeah I use concealer as my primer so I kind of did a half cut crease so we're gonna try this again and see if this will stick better and not really try this on wet so most likely these you have to try wet, but it's so pretty as a finger swatch. Setting spray. Spray that. See this works. Come on. Okay, it's working a little bit wet, but I'm still having a little trouble. Just trying to apply this on, it's so pretty. Do I have to have like glitter primer? So I'm applying glitter primer and we're gonna try this again. I'm like literally digging into my palette right now, and I hate that. 
Okay, adding glitter primer did save this a little bit. But I'm going to show you the palette. I had to dig a lot into this color just to make it this pigmented. So, I'm kind of sad about that. <sighs> Poor color. Dip into Plunge. And I'm just going to apply that right next to Snatched. So I'm guessing you gotta apply glitter primer just to make this stick. I'm just gonna go grab my previous brush that I used for quench and kind of blend this in. Okay, so this is I'm gonna do the other eye off camera real quick and we're gonna figure out what I'm gonna do in the lower lash line. So I'll be back in a second doing the other eye there is a little fallout from those two colors um i don't know if y'all could see that on camera but it's a little fallout right here all throughout my cheek so i'm just gonna dust that off and we're gonna continue on the lower lash line and i think i'm gonna use those two blue colors on the bottom of the palette the last row splash and submerge so i'm gonna do some fun bright color on the lower lash line with those two so yeah, we're going to play with those colors. I'm going to dip into Submerge first and just apply that on the lower lash line. This light blue is pretty pigmented even though it's kind of sheer, but that's what I expected with light colors. Especially with light blues and stuff. And plus I'm blending it Oh, but it is pigmented for the most part, as y'all can see. Right into Splash and just blend that submerged color out. Holy shit, this color is pigmented. I'm just going to deepen in that lash line with Drizzle. And for the inner corner, I really don't know what I'm going to use for the inner corner. Well, I guess we could try Divine to see how this goes. Yeah, we'll do Divine. Divine is so pretty. And this is the completed I look with the palette. So I'm just going to apply my lashes and liner off camera. And I'll be right back, but this is the look before the lashes and the liner. I hope you guys all like it. Um, I had a little trouble with the metallic full colors and until I had to apply my glitter primer. It worked a lot better, but other than that, it was a little tricky. So I'm going to finish the liner and lashes and we're going to get into the Velour Liquid Lipsticks lip swatches. That was a handful to fucking say. <laughs> So the first color I'm going to try is Thirst Trap. Thirst Trap. Thirst Trap. This is on um, this really pretty light champagne-y metallic lip lipstick. This would be pretty on top of another um, color or just by itself or anything. So yeah. This is such a pretty color look. It's so shiny. I remember back in the day when I was like, I don't know, 11, I used to wear lip glosses like literally this fucking color. So it just brings me back to the good old days, you know? So yeah, this is Thirst Trap. Next color is this um, pretty metallic -y brown color called Fudge Pop. Um, I don't know about this on me, but we're gonna try it out. Hopefully, it's pretty. We'll see. But yeah, it's this um, pretty metallic -y light. It's like a, it looks more like a bronzy color actually, more than a brown color. So we're gonna try this out and hopefully it's pretty. See, 
um, this color is kind of pretty on me. I don't know if it's just this eye look. I mean, it's really pretty with, if I just cover this part, it's really pretty on. I really like it against my skin tone, just, just with this eye look, I don't know, so. Next up is Soft Serve, light pinky nude color. I don't know about these kind of colors on me. They usually wash me out and I usually don't use it alone. I would usually just use these colors just to mix with another color. I do like an ombre lip. We're gonna try this out. It's most likely gonna wash me out and I'm not gonna like the color on me. Yeah, I'm not liking this color at all on me. It kind of looks a little weird and it's a little patchy on some spots. I mean, that's like with most light color liquid lipsticks, they're always going to be a little patchy. Patting it on after it's on your lip and it's about to be dry, it'll help with the patchiness and help blend that out. Other than that, um, I mean, this color is cute, but not for me, you know? This one, it kind of feels a little dry compared to this other stuff. Like, it's a little drying on my lips right now. But yeah, this, this, lip, this color is not for me. The next color we're going to be doing is 818. It's this other pinky color. Hopefully this is a little better than Soft Serve On Me because it's a little brighter and it's more on the warmer side, I want to say. Not feeling this one either. It's a little too bright for me. It's more neon looking on me in the mirror. It doesn't look that bright on the camera for some reason, but in person is super bright like legit fucking bright so the next color is Huntington Beach Honey Huntington Beach 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 Huntington Beach it's kind of like mermaid blood but this is on the lighter side of mermaid blood this color is yeah I really like this color a lot it looks really pretty with this eye look for sure. I was wishing I would put this color on last now so I can keep it on all day. But we're just gonna get on to the next color. But this is one of my favorites so far out of all the liquid lipsticks and thirst trap is one of my favorite ones too. So we're gonna go to the next one. This color is yummy and it's this pretty orange color with gold, gold glitter reflex in it. Um, I know with this you just let the lipstick dry and you could pat it on and get the gold reflex to show a bit more. Ooh. Ooh, that's so cool when it does that. I don't know if the camera's catching it, but you can see the gold reflex. That's so cool. And the second to last color that I have is Core Fixation. And it's this pretty, 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 pretty bright orange color. Normally don't go for oranges a lot. I don't really like orange, but we're gonna try this out because this color is so fucking stunning. Color is fucking bright, but it kind of looks darker on me for some reason. But on the tube, it looks fucking bright as hell. So the last color is Cherry Wet. It's pretty like hot pink color. Um, this is so pretty. I actually like this one. This is my other favorite color besides Huntington Beach. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like all the colors, just not all the colors are just from my skin tone. Um, this one's definitely for me. This is so pretty against my skin tone for sure. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy my Thirsty Palette demo review lipstick swatches, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like the palette. It's so pretty. Even though I had a little trouble with the metallic formulas, other than that, the mattes were so pretty. I really like the eye look I've created, and I really like the um, few of the look of lipstick colors like Huntington Beach and Cherry Wet. Those are really, really pretty. Um, soft Serve and 8118, they're a little patchy and they're a little dry when I was applying it. Thirst Trap was one of my favorite ones too. His metallic formulas, he perfected that. They are awesome. They don't feel... They don't feel gritty on my lips and they feel amazing. They don't feel too dry and they don't, they're not wet, you know, because most metallic liquid lipsticks, they feel wet after a little while and they still smear off. They don't last long. I really like this. Oops, that's backwards. I really like the packaging and all that. The summer collection is so cute. The whole ice cream melting shit is awesome. I wish I had the lip scrubs to try out, but yeah, like I said, I was broke. 
hope you guys <laughs> like the look I've created with this. And yeah, I hope I see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.